uh, Josh, um, yo, this shit is crazy, um, I don't think niggas supposed to be here, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of white people activity going on right now. I thought we were going to, you know what I'm saying, just Oktoberfest. I tell you, I tell you what, man, after the rituals, yo, uh, I, I, I'll be right back, man. I'll be right back. Um, 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 let me see, just, uh, hit the call, this, uh, lift, this lift, um, uh, pick people up out here. Never mind, man. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yo, what up fam? Welcome back to another episode of Q Reviews. In this Q Review, we be going over the horror movie Midsommar. Directed by Ari Aster. If you don't know who Ari Aster is, he directed last year's horror movie Hereditary with the pole and had a lot of people divisive of whether they liked it or not. I happened to fall in the category that I really liked Hereditary and his directorial style. I think he is one of the new masters of horror. This is the second debut called Miss Summer called, uh, starring uh, Florence Hugh and a dude that looks like uh, if Chris Pratt and Seth Rogen would have had a love baby. Now the plot of Miss Summer is Florence Hugh character which is Danny uh, suffers a horrible tragedy in her life with her sister and the rest of her family and she's really into her boyfriend but her boyfriend is on the cusp of breaking up with her, but she's really attached because she has nothing left, uh, nothing else left. She lost her, her whole entire family and she just needs something to cling on to. So they decide to take a trip to Sweden to some fucking weird ass pagan cult and things escalate from there. I'm just gonna uh, put it like that. It, it gets really fucked up. It gets really fucked up. I'm just gonna uh, 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 put it there. And Ari Aster, what type of relationship or breakup that you went through that you produced this shit? You can obviously see the director had some type of personal uh, breakup with some type of uh, woman or whatever that produced this fucking fucked up shit. Now, uh, Danny's character is, uh, you know what I'm saying, she's very insecure, she's always worried about uh, this and that, and then her boyfriend plays, like, he wants to break up with her, but he has to tag her along, and she comes off as awkward, like, she don't want to do certain things, this is like a, a point in the movie when they're doing mushrooms or whatever, and then everybody else, like, yo, his boy's like, yo, we down, son, we down to do some fucking mushrooms, son, you know, and then his girl's like, I want to get settled in a little bit before I started doing mushrooms and her boyfriend was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do the mushrooms, you know what I'm saying, just quite yet. And, and her character comes off as awkward, you know what I'm saying, but once you get into this place, this uh, Swedish pagan cult is lit beautifully. It's just bright. It's just bright. It's uh, beautiful. It's a lot of uh, women in, you know what I'm saying, white linen gowns dancing around. Beautiful food, beautiful colors, beautiful flowers. But at the same time, this whole movie, I felt trapped in it. I was trapped. I was trapped. I can't explain how, you know what I'm saying, how it was, but I felt trapped in this environment, and it felt like I was there. And you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I was just in this environment. I wanted, I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to leave. It felt like I couldn't leave. And I think the director does a great job at this. All uh, Ari Aster shots, sometimes you see beautiful drone shots, sometimes you see the camera uh, completely flip upside down, sometimes like when they're doing drugs, they have wonderful shots of the mushroom shots, uh, of uh, flowers just breathing, people faces all weird, the directorial fucking uh, aspect of this film is amazing to me, just the visuals of this movie, it's, it, it, it's just wow. It happens, it's a horror movie. I know people say, I don't think it's a horror movie. No, fuck yeah. It's a horror movie. 
I'm gonna say that because parts of this movie even reminded me of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a lot of Hannibal, a lot of egg bean shit, a lot of uh, 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 fucked up shit. And this movie takes a long time to get where it's going. Now, I was uh, highly invested. You know what I'm saying? Of what was going on with the character of Danny, all the shenanigans, all the you know what I'm saying, all the bullshit that that was going on with just her character before we get to the weird cult shit. Cause when the weird cult shit yeah goes down, it's like what the fuck? What the fuck, son? <laughs> like what? No, I'm the fuck out of here. I'm the fuck out of here. Like, it's a point in this movie like, yo, I'm the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? They they, they have a group of fan, uh, friends there, but like, when this one thing goes down, it's like, yo, son, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And there's a black person there. Like, what the fuck are you doing there, son? Like, yeah, 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 you know this is not gonna end good for you, right? You seen any horror movie? Nigga, you know we don't make it out of this shit, son. Get the fuck out of there. That's all I'm saying. But, um, uh, if I had to say any negative things about this movie, you will check your watch. It's a long motherfucker. I think it's like two hours and 20 minutes or something like that. And it takes a long time for things to happen. I think that's Ari Aster's, um style or whatever and he has some styles his transitions let's just go on Ari Aster's transition his transitions from scene to scenes are very fucking impressive they're very creative I really love seeing that so that's why I wasn't quite ready to leave this film there even as slow as it is his vision man you see everything in every scene when they're at dinner when the ceremonies are happening they're long and drawn out but somehow i'm i'm you know what i'm saying i am still interested as what the fuck is going on he kept me he kept me engaged he kept me engaged even though this movie is a super slow burn i was engaged from the beginning to the end Ari Aster has a good thing of showing death just just showing it just showing it in your face, you know what I'm saying? From the subtle death that happened at the beginning to some of the more horrific things that happened in the second and third act. He has a great way of just showing it to you. It's not going to be cut. This shit is shot in broad uh, fucking daylight, you know what I'm saying? Now, if, I'm going to say this. A lot of black people are not going to like this movie. You know, not, not, not to um, skew the whole race, but this is not your typical a horror movie, you know, it, it, it's not your typical jump scare, it's not Annabelle creation, what is all, you, you, you're expecting a one-two beat, go see Annabelle creation, or even watch the uh, 2018 uh, Halloween uh, remake or whatever, visually, Ari Aster fucking killed this movie, Florence Hugh, oh my god, she is a great fucking actress, I seen her in Fighting for Our Family this year, I think she's better here and, and uh, this movie in Midsummer than she is, I don't think she quite takes home the best um, actress uh, of the year so far, I still holding that to Lupita Nyong'o for us, I just thought she was phenomenal, but Florence Hugh is fucking great here. Sometimes, man, when they linger on certain things like grieving, that pain. Tony Collette did it in uh, Hereditary, and that pain when she was crying, man. I just, I just felt it, man. Oh, it was so deep. I just feel her fucking pain, man. It, 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 I was like, oh man, that hurts. And, it, it, and he know how to fucking bring out that hurt, Ari Aster. So I give him respect for that, and I give him respect for just bringing this fucking um straight up ultra violence i mean it this movie is very disturbing this movie i wouldn't say is uh, uh, uh super scary but it's scary to me because i don't want to be there i want to be in this type of cult thing the thing is scary about this is the isolation and the thing uh, of, of of just being trapped in this super broad daylight when everything seems to be okay but on the underlying uh surface things are fucked up Tradition here is not 
is not normal, you know. You know if, if you know what I'm saying. And and he he just shows you super violent acts in broad daylight. Some of the shit I was like, fuck, what? Are you serious? And then when I thought they were gonna cut the camera, like this just cut this. This is this is way too fucking much, bro. He don't cut it. He just keep fucking going with this shit. Ari Aster. I mean, and, and as for horror, and as for traditional horror, jump scares, whatever. It's fine when you do it uh, creatively. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Shit on any other director that does uh, 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 jump scares or things like this. But Ari Aster is unique. He's unique like a Stanley Cooper and uh, Shiny. He's unique like that. He is one of the unique directors that we I think we have this generation. And it's definitely um, needs to be watched. Now, what I advise you to go see Midsummer, I don't know. This might not be for everybody. This not this might not be for you. If you like horror, and then you know this might not be your taste. You might like your traditional, you know, one, two, three beat horror, uh, uh, Halloween uh, things like that. But if you want something different that's in your face, uh, straight up raw, Ari Aster did it for me, and I understand it's not gonna be for a lot of people, but as for me, I think this works, man. I think this works, and I like the creative freedom that he took um, making this thing. I like, I, 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 people say it's pretentious, I don't give a fuck. He made the film that he wanted to make. It's not fucking pretentious, he did what he wanted to do. Every actor just has a, a way of making you feel totally uncomfortable okay it's a scene in this movie it's a lot of scenes with uh, do you like flaccid penis do you like fucking mongoloids uh looking at you while you doing certain shit it's a lot of fucking long fucking witch titties some okay titties then it's witch titties and uh different body contortions and things like that mongoloids that will make your penis off my you know what i'm saying anytime you know you you, you get a heart on in class or whatever just think of this scene in this movie and I guarantee that your <laughs> penis will be immediately soft he makes it feel so uncomfortable it's just like what the fuck this shit here is, is completely uncomfortable I, 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 I don't want to be here my penis is soft thank you there's a lot of pasty white ass a lot of nakedness pasty white ass flashy penis with blood and I'm just like that I just had to wash my mouth out, man. It, it, it shit was fucking wild. One of my big gripes, one of my big gripes of the film itself, it's just too long. It's just too long. I was good. I was checking my watch. I was bored. I was bored at parts. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was bored at parts. Like, oh, yo, can we get to it? Can we get to it? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, even though the stuff they were doing in the film were interesting, I was into, you know what I'm saying, what was going on in the relationship. I just wanted them to hurry up and get to the get. Let's get down to the get down. As for a score of Midsummer, I think I'm going to give it a four out of five. All the shots in this film, every shot that he does is beautiful, it's interesting. Uh, the color palette is amazing. I'm buying on 4K uh, Blu-ray just to see those colors again. Just to see a movie just shot in fucking broad summer daylight was a, a, a treat to see. I think Ari Aster is definitely one to be watched for. Between him and Ari Aster and Jordan Peele, they, to me, are the new masters of horror. Not your traditional fucking Annabelle creation bullshit. It's something new. It might not be your taste, but I have to respect the art form. So that's why I'm giving a 4 out of 5 and it's effective. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the scenes stick with me. You know what I'm saying? I like a horror movie that sticks to my ribs after I fucking leave the theater and I'm thinking about it when I go home. Well, anyway guys, did you like flaccid bloody penises? Go ahead and hit me that thumbs up. If you really like this content, consider subscribing to the Q Review family and hit that uh, thumb notification bell so you know every time 
time I make a video, what do you guys think of Midsummer? Are you divisive? Did you hate this movie? Did you love it? I, all I know is white people be trivial, yo. And once again, don't just stare at that PewDiePie. Eat it. <laughs> Peace.